Cody Nelson here. Just wanted to show you a uh, side effect of tillage. Uh, we don't really like to see it. As a matter of fact, we don't like it at all. We've understood now with the use of cover crops and, and some of these other sustainable farming practices and utilize it, by utilizing some of these soil health principles, we don't have to see some of these side effects, these negative side effects we're seeing of tillage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this here. Uh, we've got some pretty good cutouts. I've showed you this ditch before in past videos, but every year it comes back and we get a new one and just look at look at the soil folks we're seeing um you know the, the number is always you know four or five ton of topsoil loss per acre per year i uh, just heard a number it was actually probably closer if you're figuring both wind and water we're probably talking closer to 10 to 12 tons per acre per year of topsoil loss so you know, it doesn't seem like all that much. You figure 10 tons of topsoil, it's only the inch of a dime, you know, or the the, the width of a dime. So I we, we just got to stop. We really, really got to stop this. Look, we're getting down to some clay. Uh, there, is, there is no reason that we have to continue to do this. And you know, we i don't want to make it sound like like everything like this was all wrong everything the way we used to do it was wrong because it was right it it was the best technology that we had at the time but you know we've understood now that we we have a lot better technology we understand how to utilize cover crops and we've got way better uh equipment to help us with the beginnings and transitions to uh, some of these soil health principles to transition to no-till transition to even if you wanted to uh, I mean there's lots of things you could do uh, we we have that ability now we're showing it we're proving it on farms all over the Midwest on farms and areas where they said that no-till absolutely wouldn't work uh, we're getting it accomplished and why are we still seeing issues like this you know this is this is absolutely disturbing to see this and you know what it's just early march we're most likely gonna see more of this yet this year so we've got to stop uh, we got to stop and look and and think would our past generations be happy with how we're doing this uh would they would they feel comfortable seeing things like this and and then we got to look at future generations and think if we continue to farm like this are our kids and grandkids and great grandkids going to be able to continue to farm i don't want to talk about climate or anything like that you guys can have your own opinions on that that's fine i just want to talk about how to do this and how why we need to to really look at uh the changing of practices and, and incorporating some of these no-till principles and, and incorporating cover crops. If you've got wet ground and you say no-till just won't work for me, well, guess what? There's cover crops that'll help soak up moisture and, and build soil structure and help increase your water infiltration rates so you don't have to run a plow through it in the fall. You don't have to run a field cultivator in the spring. You don't have to do all that stuff. You got to utilize the right cover crops in the right situations ahead of the right cash crops. You can absolutely make this work and you can begin to build soil instead of losing it. There is no such thing as staying the same, folks. You're either going to increase soil or you're going to lose it, one or the other. So oftentimes we forget about the erosion side of things. I just happened to be out checking some other stuff and we, we came across that ditch and I just had to show it to you. So anyways... We appreciate you guys watching all the way through here. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, share the video, like the video, whatever you want to do. We sure appreciate it. We'll keep them coming. 
Um, we're going to keep trying to change the world and try to get more and more people to utilize regenerative farming practices, sustainable farming practices, whatever you want to call it. We don't care. Uh, we just know that, that there's a better way. And I'm not saying the old way is wrong. Like I said before, uh, it was the best we had for the time, but we've got new technology and we're in a new generation and we're going to change the way we're farming. So if you want, want to reach out, reach out to us at soilrx1 at gmail.com. Look up the website, soilrx.net. Uh, but otherwise, have a good day and get to planting. Have a good one.